Hi everyone, this is LAR Games, and today I'm watching episode 12 of uh, the first season of Sinfo Gear. There's one more episode after this, so we'll see how uh, big this conclusion is going to be. Uh, this season was supposedly just going to be like a one-off, so I'm sure they're going to hopefully try pretty hard at the ending. Um, so yeah, let's just get started. Oh yeah, she died last episode. Hopefully not permanently, but apparently some people really wanted more of an emotional response from me when it came to this. I mean, yes. Deaths are sad. But I don't know, I wasn't that attached to her. Besides the, the fact that she's, like, my favorite singer in the show so far. So the moon is cracked now. Uh, that's probably pretty bad. Hopefully it doesn't fall to Earth at some point. So did they hear her? Was it like transmitted through the headset? I wonder if uh, Hibiki is going to go Super Saiyan here. She already eats like Goku. Somebody's mentioned that. <laughs> you also kind of just met recently. Oh. That's a really weird looking organ there. Well, so I guess she didn't hear. Can I just like shoot again? Oh, there she goes. Yeah, she uh she has some previous experience with people doing that before. Here she goes turning into mob again. So I wonder is her appearance when she's like this uh diegetic like can everyone see her be like this or is this is this just like for the benefit of us viewers like does she actually like in complete shadow with glowing red eyes Well, I don't think she's going to, because there's a couple of seasons more after this. Okay, so I guess her, her 
physical form did actually change. Asgard, I could read that one. Seems she took the blow, but she took the blow. <laughs> uh oh, new target. Yeah, it's a uh, kind of unfocused rage here. Is that all it takes for it to be over? What's over specifically? Well, she has a point. I guess that is reasonable. If she loses, then <laughs> uh, she's probably not going to survive. <laughs> so it seems she did get injured. So I guess it's going to fire again, huh? So what's going to stop it this time? The ultimate weapon that could only aim in one direction? I was about to ask, what's the energy source? That's pretty great as a power source. So, why isn't Hibiki attacking her anymore? Like, I could understand that she switched targets because, like, her, she was closer or something, but, hmm. Oh, the power of hugs. Shade Stitcher. So, 
she was petrified by the shade stitcher ability. Is that what happened? Or was it just the hug and it got through to her? See, there's one thing that I kind of have a pro like I I kind of have a problem with like the rest of the songs that are not Chris's. The rest of them kind of really feel like very like they could be about a lot of things, not just what's happening on screen. And I guess Chris's too, but hers feel a lot more like applicable applicable to the current situation. I don't know why I couldn't say that. Uh Like, I just feel the, these songs that aren't Chris's are a lot vaguer. And they could, they could apply to literally like every battle. So what are you going to do, Hibiki? Oh, well, that's impressive and unexpected. Preferably, yes. Well, can't shoot the moon no more. Also, Hibiki's back. So, are Tsubasa and Chris just not going to be around next season? Yes, it would cause a gravitational disturbance. I kind of think that most people would be pretty angry that you're the one that caused it in the first place.
I thought Hibiki was going to do something. Oh, okay, so that's what she was doing. That's uh, got to be pretty <laughs> damaging to the neck. Hopefully you can remember. Because it certainly wasn't for them too specifically. I guess she was missing that context. Uh, she's only literally seen her fight this one time. I'm gonna Moomin ride her, huh? <laughs> Though in this case, it'll probably work. Don't have a uh, one punch man to come in and help out. Though if he was here, it would have been pretty easy. <laughs> Well, you are a hard worker, that's clear. And Vicky's body at this point is pretty durable. But I gotta say, uh, being in love with God, I assume, I mean, considering capitalizing it and all, uh, pretty bad taste, don't you think? That's not your line. <laughs> this is an interesting payoff for her character. <laughs> Thankfully, their uniforms don't require, like, heels or something.
Yeah, if she can recover, she could probably use like the uh the most powerful one that like drains life force or whatever. Fortunately, you feel the need to tell her all of this instead of just doing it first. Oh, thank goodness that still works. That little girl's face, oh my god. <laughs> I'm looking forward to seeing her with a different hair color. Also, if Subasa and Chris actually don't end up coming back, that's going to be pretty disappointing because, like, I don't know, it, feel, it feels like if they are permanently dead, then it kind of just, like, if they make more seasons than two characters that they started off with and, like, spent at least some time developing are just gone. There we go. Oh, I really like it when they show the transformation, like, not with a transformation sequence and actually, like, in the actual scene. You seem very confused. Here we go. Okay. I like this. <laughs> All right. That makes me happy. Oh, shoot. It's over. Oh, I just started getting good. All right, well, uh, my favorite part of the episode is predictably that part, so. <laughs> um, I mean, I, as unemotional that apparently I seemed when Chris died and also Tsubasa, I guess. I just really, it's, for Tsubasa, I kind of didn't really comprehend what was happening until like, a few seconds later, like I was just kind of hoping that she wouldn't be doing the things she was doing or I didn't even think about it. I thought she was just going to hold off as long as possible. Uh, I did think or like I kind of expected Chris to come back and I didn't expect Tsubasa to do that. But uh, once they actually came back, I was like, oh, well, I thankfully they did. It was something that I didn't know that would relieve me as much as it did until it actually happened. Um, so yeah, I'm glad that they're still around, especially Chris, because if there's going to be singing, <laughs> it's better that she's around. Um, I don't know if I mentioned who I like the most currently and like, okay, my favorite singer is Chris. I've mentioned that multiple times, but I think my favorite character, as in the character that I like the most, is probably Subasa. I can't think of any other character that I like as much. Uh, in terms of the actual amount that I like them, I can't say that I I'm in love with any of them yet. Like I'm I'm not. I can't really say I'm like a really, really big fan of any of them. It's just that Subas is the one I like the most out of all of them. If this makes any sense. Um, 
Like, I don't dislike anyone except for the, the, <laughs> the person who ended up being a bad guy, which is great. That, that means that <laughs> all my, uh, dislike towards her was warranted, which I'm happy about. Um, is that I don't have particularly strong feelings of like towards anyone yet. But I hear that the coming seasons get increasingly better over time. So if that makes it so they get much more likable, then I'm excited for it. But uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing how this all kind of ends. It, it does seem that the secret is out when it comes to Sympho Gears. So coming seasons are probably going to have them in a more... You know, I'll, I'll talk about this after the last episode. I'll, I'll, I'll have more information to make my conclusion. So, uh, yeah, with that said, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.